how long have these committee members owned in the building? Um, I think that's relevant for caretaking disputes particularly. So, you know, if a building's working well, great. If a building's not working well, that's where we start to look at these issues and what we think is contributing to the problems. Um, committee members that have a very long memory can be quite challenging to work with. So if you've got a committee member that's been there for 20 years and they've worked with five building managers before you, then they're comparing you to a lot of other performers. Um, and a lot of the time, um, committee members have this sort of nostalgia for the past and they're remembering how the building operated and the gardens looked spectacular and there were no problems and the building manager wasn't constantly trying to get them to spend money. But they're probably remembering when the building was two, three years old. And there's a big difference between a two-year-old building and a 25-year-old building. So if you've got a committee member like that, you know, knowing that information doesn't change their view, but I think it would give you the opportunity to raise those issues sort of every time you have a maintenance issue. Conversely, if you have a lot of new committee members and they've only bought in the last two, three years, you know, what are their motivations? Were they buying that property thinking, oh, these pool tiles look terrible and I think we could spend some thinking of our money on them and then their property is instantly worth more and so is everybody else's. So um, that can be a different dynamic where they come in and they want to make it look different straight away and you might be thinking, well, these tiles are doing fine, they're well maintained and there's nothing wrong with them, they're just old. So understanding how um, how long the committee members have been owners in the building for is important as well as how long they've been on the committee for.